Good morning. Welcome to day 23. So I did a bit of work and uh, set my spawn point. So if I die, um, because as I said before, I'm going to the nether, getting ready here. But anyway, if I die, I will, I will respawn here on my platform rather than in the mining tunnel. So that's important. So right now I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pare things down a bit. I, I want to lose as little as possible. I don't know what I'm going to see when I go there. And it looks like pretty soon I'm going to need a new chest. I've got, let's see, well, I, I definitely won't be needing a fishing pole in the nether. And I've got, there we go, and I've got uh, a little bit of bread. Is that enough? Oh, and flint and steel. I've learned you always need to take flint and steel with you to the nether in case the portal gets put out because uh, you're not going to find flint or steel in the nether. And let's make some more bread. No place to put it. Yeah, I hear lava again. Under this spot, there's some lava. Yeah, someday I'm going to have to investigate that. Okay, here we go. Now, where are we going to end up? Okay. Oh look, Nether quartz. Since I'm in, I'm now in version I think one, uh, one point five. Um, maybe it's one point five point one. Uh, anyway, that was the first Nether quartz I've ever gotten. So it's probably good that I waited this long uh, to go to the Nether. And we're getting some lag here. This lag doesn't concern me so much. This is just in-game lag because the nether is rendering. What really bugs me is when I record. Oh, more nether quartz. And uh, things go fine inside the game, but then uh, the video is rendered with lag. That's really frustrating, but this is actual game lag. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I almost fell down that hole. And if there had been lava down there, I would now be dead. It would have been a very brief trip to the nether. So let me just um, get as much of this nether quartz as I can. I don't know how common it is. It seems like there's a lot of it around here. Okay, I'm not seeing any um, fortress nearby. That's a shame. But uh, let's let's just explore and see what we come across. Okay, I definitely don't want to go down there. 
I'm actually fortunate that uh, no lava started flowing into the portal. Okay. Should I try going down there? Yeah, I think I can make that. Let's see. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, even if I do find a fortress. Ah, soul sand. But even if I do find a fortress, it looks like it's going to be too far away from the portal to be convenient. I may have to go back to the swamp and set up a portal there as well. I mean, I need blaze rods. I need nether rack. Oh, I need glowstone too. I might find some glowstone. I mean, I should. Hmm. One thing I, I'm wondering is, uh, is nether quartz flammable? I don't know. Not that it really matters much, I'm just curious. Okay, <laughs> that answers my question. I think I know how to get back to the portal. Oh, now I'm on fire. <laughs> okay, I'm still alive. And I think I'm safe in here. Got 35 nether quartz. And I'm almost totally healed up. I'm fully fed. And I'm ready to take on the world. So getting down here was pretty easy, I just had to jump. Now I have to figure out how to get back up. I think I'm going the right direction. Nice. But yeah, I think I'm, I can't really tell by my clock what time it is, but I don't want to spend too long here. I did want to bring the clock though, because I've, I've heard that the clocks go crazy, but I, I've never seen that before. So anyway, there's the portal. Now I know what's here. Nether quartz and soul sand are the only two things that I, that I really um, am going to need. So that was a disappointment. No fortress. Yeah, and I hear the lava again. There's definitely lava under here. And I think my next big project is going to be to make a, uh, a better wheat farm in a better location, one that has greater capacity, and one that just looks nicer. 
but I won't be doing that today. And I don't think I've seen my cows since I got back. Ah, there's a wild one running free. Or <laughs> maybe it escaped. But just in case it is a wild one uh, coming in here for a visit, I'm going to try to breed him with the incest cows here and, and see if I can uh, get more genetic uh, variability. Now hopefully the calf will be born inside the corral, and it was. And the sun is going down. There we go. Now the cows are safe. And someday I should really fill in these creeper holes. They're very annoying. Okay, well, it hasn't been a particularly long day. I'm getting to bed early. That means I can do some extra work at night. So I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully I'll find something interesting for us to do. This is me, waving goodnight.